Good day, children. Our lesson for today is all about propagating trees and fruit-bearing trees using scientific processes. In this lesson, you will identify the appropriate tools and equipment in plant propagation and their uses, demonstrate scientific ways of propagating fruit-bearing trees, and observe healthy and safety measures in propagating fruit-bearing trees. Our love for nature in the environment is be shown when we plant trees. Planting trees is a productive and enjoyable activity that can be turned into an occupation or a hobby. Successful tree planting requires some knowledge about trees, what they need and how they grow, and some skills on when and how to plant and take care of them. Caring for fruit trees is the same as caring for other trees. Orchard tools and equipment play a very important role in systematic processes of plant preparation. Their availability makes the work easier and helps in the proper execution of the different procedures. Here are the tools and equipment in plant propagation. Who? A tool used in digging and loosening hard, dry soil. It has a thin blade across the end of a long handle. Rake. A rake is a long handled tool having a bar at one end with teeth in. It is used for smoothening the soil and gathering loose leaves, hay, or straw. Trowel. A trowel is a tool with a curved blade used for loosening the ground and taking up small plants. Another one is axe. A tool with a flat, sharp blade fastened to a handle used for cutting trunks of trees and their branches. You can use also crowbar. It is a straight, heavy iron bar pointed at one end about 4 feet in length, used for digging holes and for planting seeds. Another important tool is bolo, a tool with a wooden or metal handle in which a long blade is attached. It is used for cutting tall grasses and branches of trees. Another tool is a shovel. A broad scoop attached to a handle. It is used to dig, leaf, and throw loose matter. Fork is a tool resembling a table fork but much bigger in size. It is used in digging and preparing the soil for the plants. Water sprinkler. A can with a spout to sprinkle water on the plants. Plants should be watered every day to make them grow healthier. Wheelbarrow, used to transfer soil plants and other materials from one place to another. Hose, used for watering seedlings arranged in mass. Sprayer is also a very important tool. It is used for spraying chemicals to eliminate plant seed. Weighing scale, it is used for weighing plants seeds and fertilizers. Pieces of wood or bamboo is used as fences of seeds, boxes, and plants to protect plants from being destroyed by animals. Running shears used for cutting small branches including the unnecessary branches. Gardening gloves used while working in the garden made of strong rubber to protect from thorns and withstand punctures. Here are the tips in performing scientific way of propagating fruit-bearing trees. Number one is select a stem which is not too young or too old. Be sure the propagating materials are of the same species. See to it that the stock and the scion are fitted with each other. Do the propagation at the right time. Healthy and safety measures in propagating fruit-bearing trees. Here are the tips. Before working, make sure you have refreshed yourself like taking a bath in order to work well. Always wear complete personal protective equipment which include hairnet, hand gloves, apron, boots if needed, 
protected eyeglass and face mask. Make sure tools and equipment are working properly before using them. Always follow instruction for use of equipment. Focus on the work at hand. Do not allow yourself to get distracted. Know your limits in working. Seek help whenever necessary. And work in proper position. Make sure you do not strain your back while working. In propagating fruit-bearing trees, remember the following. Select a stem which is not too young or too old. Be sure the propagating materials are of the same species. See to it that the stock and the scion are fitted with each other and do the propagation at the right time.